Hey guys, good morning, grade 10, and now we'll be continuing with um, access and retrieve computer based information or data. So, for now, I'll be adding something with extensions. So, these extensions are um, sites or things, uh, well, yes, websites or programs or software that we use to do something on. So, if we create from Microsoft Word, it would say documents because it's doc image you got the jpg we have also pdfs and also here you can see in my computer i have these extensions so this is a screen castify so um later on after i finish this it's from screen castify file so yep it will open when you double click it fast so we'll be now continuing so here there are some exercise, open word, click on all tabs and examine the buttons on each. I believe you've done this with teacher Martalia and your other sub, oh yes, in your computer classes for in, you check what are the informations that are there, MS Word, Microsoft Excel as well, and searching file names can be forgotten. So um when you want to search for files you can just click start if you're ever in your computer just click start and there or we have this search button here this oh sorry here and there did um it doesn't have a search file so i just press a letter so um it suddenly um appeared there so rex i'll be searching for rex so there you go rex documents rex uh, my informations things that uh related to my um <clears throat> to what i've been searching so rex main rex final canvas um rex badger this Rex Superman. Oh, <laughs> that's an image of me. <laughs> okay, so that's it. How you research things. There. <laughs> file name rules. Some business have conventions on file naming. So the way, so some business, the way they name their file is different. It may include department name or author name or version number. For example, HKGC, there's something complicated, something to do with company. So, department name, for example, in hotel, front office. If you want to be more specific, author name, in your activities with teacher Martalia, author means the one who writes it or who did it. So, you put your name, the author, that's you. You put your name on your file version number like this hkgc v1 so this has some meaning okay we'll talk about this more soon okay so next system file name rules in a windows environment name should be descriptive of the contents so maximum of 256 characters characters it's uh same with letters Okay, and may include numbers, letters, and other characters. So, of course, you can use uh, letters, numbers, and other things, but there are also characters you cannot use, which, uh, like this, these characters here, you cannot use them. For some reason, um, uh, I'll search about it for you and discuss again. Um, next time mm -hmm. so it should be descriptive contents like it should be specific what's in that file so you should put for example my um, resume I should put um, resume there so I will know that's my resume okay so you should you describe what's inside like what you're doing in your computer class okay so that's it for now thank you so much i hope you're doing fine doing good i'll see you next time